SEO simplified formula. This is basically the meat of this session, and uh, we'll be taking our time to kind of go through what actually works for Google and what doesn't. Um, the, the formula is, is kind of very simple, simplified. So it's content plus optimization plus popularity of your website will get you to the top of Google search and will keep you there. This is the basic formula. And we're going to break it down. We're going to talk about each section separately. And then each section, you, you guys can ask me your questions as well. So number one, content is king because Google was established in the first place to organize content on the internet. That was the whole purpose. To index, to find, index, organize content, and then rate the content based on the popularity of the content, based on how, how many times each page has been cited and from what sources it has been cited. That's the whole Google formula. So in order to get your website ranked on top of Google, the number one thing you need to do is make sure your website's content is unique. That means you have not copied your content from anywhere else. Your text, <laughs> have you done that? You've copied, okay, but you've seen it happen. Okay, I'm gonna get to that too. Um, I've seen that happen as well. So um, how many of you have templated websites that you did not write your content? That it came from a company that built your website or someone got it, put it there, nobody? Partially, okay. All right, that's a good thing. Either you guys are all lying or <laughs> you guys all know everything about search engine optimization. <laughs> you wrote it yourself. Okay, that's good. How many of you wrote your own content, your own website content, or hired someone to do it for you? That's a good, that's a good number. Excellent. So once you write your content, then someone is going to come and copy you. And that's why I was so happy when Google came up with the Google authorship. Then I said, okay, with Google authorship, then you can establish the authority of your, of your content and say, this is my content. And if somebody else is copying it, then they are plagiarizing. Okay, so I was happy when Google came up with that. It took him less than a year to get rid of Google authorship. After all the trouble we went through to learn how to set it up, to learn how to make it work, they got rid of it. So now there's no way for us to know if, if a content originally is yours or not. Um, the best thing to do in that situation, if you realize someone is copying your content, is to rewrite it. Just hire a copywriter and just have him rewrite your, your entire copy. And then somebody else will copy it later. But you've got to update your website at, at all times. Once your website becomes very popular with Google, which means um, it becomes an authority, and it ranks high, then it doesn't matter if other people copy your content. Then Google establishes you as the author. That has been in the algorithm for many years. And I'd like to see if I can show you guys how to, um, I want to show you how you can check for your content to make sure nobody else is copying it. Or if somebody else is copying it, then you know who, and then you can write them a letter through your lawyer. Okay? So that's what I'd like to show you now. So what you do, you, you go ahead and highlight some of the text, maybe a couple of sentences. It should be more than one small sentence. So a couple of, it shouldn't be two paragraphs, just you know, something in between, maybe two or three sentences. Copy it and put it in the search box with quotations around it. If there are other websites that are copying it, you will see the results here. Okay, so it, Google will show you all the pages that have the exact same text if you put quotations around the text that you're searching for. I see smiles, happy faces, that, that's good. <laughs> yes, it drops you in the rankings. No, one, usually one of them. So it depends on which one Google decides that has the higher authority. So the question is, which one of these people are going to get penalized? Um, the person who wrote it originally or um, Dr. Greenberg who copied? I don't know who got Dr. Greenberg is. I hope I'm not. Is Dr. Greenberg here in this room? <laughs> okay. So look at the search results. Dr. Greenberg website is coming up higher on the search results. Okay. So that means Google thinks that Dr. Greenberg is the original owner of this text. That's why you've got to rewrite your content. 
until, you, until your website is actually popular with Google, like Dr. Greenberg website. All right. Good. So the first thing about content, it needs to be unique. Then it needs to be fresh, which means we need to update the content of your website on a regular basis. So by rewriting the content of your website, you're actually telling Google that this website is not an old website. This information is not old information. It's new information. Okay, even though it could be the same text, you just rewrite it. But to Google's algorithm, they will monitor how often you have updated your website, and they will rank you better. Um, text is the most important thing. Design changes will get into it. De changing design is important for another reason, not for this reason. Yes, and we do that for all of our clients. And the question is, should we add more text to the website? Does that help with the freshness? Yes, it does. My recommendation to all the plastic surgery offices is to write as much as possible on your website on a regular basis. But the minimum is once a month. You should add an article or some new item or new page to your website once a month. That's the minimum, like a blog. Yeah. So we have uniqueness of the content. We have freshness of the content. That's important. So these two elements are important. And then this is also important. We, when you write for your website, don't try to write for the search engines. OK? You go to, a lot of people do this. They go on their list of keywords and say, OK, a lot of people are searching for breast augmentation, so let me write for Google. And then the title is Breast Augmentation in New Jersey. How does it help you? And then the next blog is New York Doctor Performs Breast Augmentation on Patients. And the next blog is the same thing. Okay? Don't do that. That's writing for the search engines. And then you put all the keywords inside your article. Let me see how many times I repeated breast augmentation in this article. That's not the point of this. One, when you write for your website, make sure you're writing for an audience of human patients. Make sure you're answering their questions. Okay? Why do we want to answer questions? Because people are asking these questions on the internet. Okay? You may, you'll be surprised. People are asking, how much does tummy tuck cost? That's one of the most famous key phrases people search on Google. And if you write an article that addresses that concern or answers that question, and it starts with how much does tummy tuck cost, guess what? That article would rank better on Google search, and people will find it and go to your website. You don't have to answer it. You don't have to say how much it actually costs. But you can discuss the different options. You can say it has different, um, depends on the situation, depends on the patient, depends on the age, blah, blah, blah. And then we give you an estimate when you contact our office or free consultation. 